up the perky just to start a pop it. Pop what is going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is going to be a different vlog and honestly an exciting vlog. As you guys see, we have 200 sneakers behind us. A huge collection that you guys are about to witness. And also, yes, we do have Yeezys, so make sure you stay to the end. We have the Yeezys. We also have a little interview with the collector, Alex, that helped us. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're first going to start off with the Jordan 1s. These are brand new. Got the UNC 1s, the Bread 1s, Chicago 1s, another pair of Bread 1s. Shadow ones. Not sure of the name on these. We got black and white ones. Similar to the yin and yang, I guess. Got the Royals. Again, I'm not familiar with this, but I'm just gonna go with the all red collab with 13. The band ones, the original bands with the X on the back. Black toe ones. Eric Nick ones. Now we're gonna start off with the twos. These are the Concord twos. I'm not sure of these or these. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have like two are like one of my worst knowledgeable. And then these. Now we're gonna get into the threes. We have the 88 threes with the Nike Air on the back. Fire red threes, white cement threes, infrared 23 threes. Got two pairs of these. Crimson threes, gray threes. Black Cement 3s, 3 Lab 3s, Super Blue 3s, Sport Blue 3s, Cement 3s, Powder Blue 3s, 5 Lab 3s. Now we're going to jump into the 4s. Start off, we got the Oreo 4s, Fire Red 4s, Oreo Red 4s, Black Cat 4s, Pure Money 4s. These are brand new, like I don't even want to like touch them. I'm scared I'm gonna get them dirty. These are so nice. Green Glow, fours. Military Blues. New York Knicks. The Grail of the Grail, the DB fours. These things are insane. Bread fours. Jordan Thunder four. I have a pair of custom fours. If you see it's all like reptile skin, the inner is all leather. These things are insane. It's by JBF Customs. If you guys know who that is, these are immaculate. Now jumping into the fives, got the Shanghai fives. The infrared five lab or three lab fives. A grail of mine, the burgundy fives. If anyone has a size 11 to 12 in these, let me know, I will PayPal you instantly. Black version of 3 Lab 5s, Grape 5s, brand new, Black Grape 5s, Fire Red 5s, Laney 5s, Oreo 5s, the Raging Bull Pack, the 3M and then the Red, these Reds, oof, again, size 11 to 12, super fire. Metallic 5s, Blue version of the 3 Lab 5s, Wolf Grey 5s, Fear 5s, Fire Red 5s, again. The Bel Air 5s. And the Grail of the Grail, it's either Quay or Quai, don't roast me in the comments, it's either or, Tomato Tomato, 54 5s. These are absolutely ridiculous. If you guys know, you know. Unfortunately, this isn't the black pair, which would be family and friends, but this is still a very rare shoe. Now we're gonna jump into the 6s. We have the Slam Dunk 6. Cigar and Champagne Sixes. Four Blue Sixes. Gordon Maroon Six. Carmine Sixes. I'm not too positive on this, but I think it's Spizzyk Sixes. Could be wrong. Black and White Infrared Sixes from the Infrared Pack. Infrared Six. After the Sevens, we have the Jordan Seven Raptor. Now we're gonna jump into the eights. We have the chrome eights, the aqua eights. I forgot the name of these eights, but playoff eights. Now for the Jordan nines, we have the olives, motorsports, DBs, Elroys, Barons. Jumping into the tens, we have the powder blues, the venoms, the steels. And now jumping into the 11s, we have the infrared 23, 
11 lows, Legend Blues, Varsity Red lows, Concord lows, the Oreo, or I guess the Mismatch Concord lows, Concords, Gammas, the Breads, Base Jams, Grail of the Grail OG Columbia 11s with the Nike Air in the inside. Now we're gonna get into the 12s. We have the Flu Games from 09. Taxi 12s. A pair of Taxi 12s. Those are OG Playoff 12s. Now we're gonna jump into the 13s. Got the Dirty Bread 13s. Gray Toad 13s. Got Game 13s. Altitude 13s. Playoff 13s. Now jumping into the 14s. We have the Thunder 14s. Ferrari 14s. Gray 14s. Now we're gonna do the designer part of the collection. Lenciaga's Arena in the aqua blue. Louboutin Spikes. All black Balenciagas. Two suede Balenciagas. Another pair of Spike Louboutins. Red Stingray Balenciagas. Now we're gonna jump into the LeBrons. I'm not gonna say which, oh I guess I will say which numbers they are, but we have LeBron 8. LeBron 8 South Beach. LeBron 9 Hornets. LeBron 9 South Beach. I actually wore these to my high school graduation. Little fun fact. LeBron 10 Denim. LeBron 10 Mint. LeBron 10 Volt Jumpman. LeBron 10 Elite. LeBron 10. LeBron 11 Sprites. LeBron 11. All of these are LeBron 11s. The Denims. XTs, Christmas, Black Red, Miami Knights, Galaxy. Now we're gonna get into the foam posits. Start it off, you have the pink one, the white, camo fighter jet, white camo fighter jet one, royal blue, black suede, easy, all black, big plant, mirror. Supreme collab with Air Force One, the red edition. All three colorways of the Nike Air Tempos. You have the USA, the black and white, and the all white up tempos. Starting to get to the end, so now we're gonna show you the height things, the Yeezys, which everyone loves to see. Start off with the V2s, we have the white and black. We have the olive green. For the V1s, we have the pirate black 2.0s. The tans, the turtle doves. The 750s, we have the brown with the gum bottom, as well as the gray with the gum bottom. Nike Yeezys, we have the red Octobers. Nike Air Force One Custom by John Geiger. All the misplaced checks. These are sick. This is actually my boy's Purple Miami, sitting right here. We have our boy Alex that helped us out. Today was honestly, like we already recorded this video, we're recording this intro actually after we did it. Today was so much work. There's about 200 plus pairs of sneakers here and it's just absolutely insane collection. And like I said, it is Purple's collection. So just a few questions, we're not gonna do a full interview, but I'm guarantee a couple of viewers are gonna be like, one, how long have you been collecting them? I would say about 10 years now. 10 years, that is a lot of time. Figure we're in 2017, so about 2006, 2007, you started collecting. Now, I don't know about you guys, but in 2006, I was in sixth grade, so I didn't know anything about sneakers back then. I was just worried about what girls I'm gonna be kissing. <laughs> about 2006, 2007, what got you into collecting sneakers? Well, when I was a kid, my parents always used to take me to Kids Foot Locker, and I, always wanted the the, the most uh, expensive shoe but my parents couldn't afford it back then so i ended up getting like the cheaper version or like the, yeah, yeah, yeah like the knockoff version of like let's say like the air my mm -hmm. and and then one one day i said you know what one day when i start making good money i'm gonna end up buying whatever shoe i want and thankfully for my, for what i do my job i ended up basically doing that. Yeah, I think we can all relate to that, you know, not 
everyone is born with money, obviously. You know, some things we want that we can't get, some things we want our parents can't get. So I definitely understand when he says when you reach that moment in life or that goal in life that you can finally buy sneakers that you dreamed of or just not even dreamed of, just wanted when you were a little kid or even as a grown up, you know, even myself today, I want Yeezys. Do you guys see me having Yeezys? No, because I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars or I can't afford to spend a thousand dollars on shoes right now. Maybe later on in the year, or not later on in the year, but maybe later on in my lifetime when I'm financially stable, then yeah, I'll spend thousands of dollars on Yeezys. So I definitely understand where uh, you're coming from, where your parents can't afford it, so you wanna get it when you can make money. So that's awesome, that's awesome. There's about 200 sneakers that you guys see behind us and here he asked me what was my favorite out of all the sneakers we went through and to be honest it is so hard to pick just one or two favorites but uh what would you say is your favorite the red octobers red octobers we actually right here and if you guys didn't see these things are beats we living hell he actually said well i mean i guess you you could say it for yourself but you wore these what every single day since you got them as soon as i got them yeah. took them to the gym i took them jogging i took them to anywhere to work and it's crazy and what like these people think that it's a grail and that people don't even rock these because they think they're so expensive and like you said you wear them to the gym to work like like it's nothing like wear your shoes guys you know these are what made for they're not made I know these go for what about three to five thousand dollars on a good end it depends obviously condition easily but it's kind of crazy that people will spend $5,000 on a sneaker and they won't even wear it. It's like, how are you? Yes, it is a collection and it's a collector's item, but at the end of the day, this is shoes, guys. It's meant to be wearing and showing off. If you have it at your house, yes, you can make a YouTube about it all you want, but at the end of the day, you don't get used to it. So, purples, red Octobers. What about yours? What Out of all of these shoes that we took pictures of in video, what do you think is probably your favorite? Man, probably the, honestly, the Louboutins, the all black with the spikes. The Louboutins with the black spikes? <laughs> I wanted those years ago, but <laughs> yeah, definitely. I wanted I those too. Them. I wanted those too. Couldn't get them. Yeah, so his was, I don't know if you guys can hear, I'll have to see how the audio, but he said the black Louboutin spikes with the red bottoms. Uh, I don't even think I, sh actually I did show you guys it. Yeah, we did. Uh, that was probably, that's definitely a nice, you know, uh, high-end designer. And for me, in case you guys are wondering, he has Quay or Quay, is it Quay or Quay? Quay. Quay. Quay 54 fives and burgundy oh fives. Oh, speaking of the Louboutins, you can show it. That's what he was talking about. Simple black spikes with the red bottom. Simple but expensive. You guys know Louboutins. But yeah, I would have to say mine is about the Quay 54s or the burgundy fives. I'm just something <laughs> simple. You know, I could have, I, I do love Yeezys, not gonna lie. I, I do love them, but at the end of the day, I, I just like simplicity and that's definitely my favorite, so. Another question that I have personally is what do you think of the sneaker group or community as a whole since like you said you've been in 06 and yes I actually said I don't remember stuff from 06 but to be honest I started with Nike SBs and I probably started collecting about 2008 so which is a couple years after that so I definitely seen the sneaker community grow so from your aspect do you think it's gotten better do you think it's gotten worse where, where, where are you at with the sneaker culture. Worse, as in the resale, when um, people are taking advantage of that, the, the bots, the, when people are making lines, all the resellers, all these lines are mostly resellers, so yeah. it's not like when I used to wait, I used to wait in line. Yeah. 100%, I remember me myself waiting in line, you know, but I was actually gonna wear that shoe, I actually wanted to wear that shoe, it wasn't like how it is now, most of these people in line are just to resell the shoe, but uh, it's it's as strong as it is. The sneaker culture is huge. It's super fast, and and where we are right now is it's just a bunch of hypes and a bunch of resellers. You know, it's, it's definitely got brought it down. That's why I'm like trying to get rid of all this. You know, right now. Yeah. Because it's the quality now for the Jordans too. It's gone down a little bit, and and Yeezys are just killing it. I'm keeping all my Yeezys, so I'm not selling those. Yeah, I've definitely seen that the hype is all with, like you said, Kanye and even Pharrell, like these top celebrities that now people aren't even, yes, people are copying Jordans, but they, they don't appreciate it. And Jordan brand is retroing every single sneaker just because they want to make a quick dollar. And like you said, with the quality, you know, when they're retroing every or pumping out, you know, 
I remember Jordan brand, you know, back in the day, they wouldn't release 20, 50 pairs a year, you know? It'd be maybe five, 10 pairs at the most, maybe once a month, but now they're doing six Jordans on one weekend. It's just like, obviously quality is not gonna be good, you know? Quantity versus quality or quality versus quantity, I feel like with that. And uh, yeah, that's definitely, I agree with that. With the hype beast too, everything is for a dollar. I mean, you guys know how I feel about reselling and resellers and you know, at the end of the day, people, yes, you have to make a living, you have to ha feed your family and put food on the table, but also at the end of the day, you all, you're ruining a culture at the end of the day, you know? People that want these shoes and want to rock them, they really can't because A, you have to spend thousands of dollars, or B, you just, you can't find them because resellers are just holding on to it because they know that 10 years from now it's going to be worth stupid money, you know? It's just, so yeah, I definitely agree with that, but one thing is positive about the sneaker community is that it seems like it doesn't matter if it's hype or Jordan, everyone is kind of coming together. Like there's tomorrow is SneakerCon for Lardo, which you guys will see, but we'll see all the top YouTubers that before never really did anything. These sneaker YouTubers are coming together doing sneaker events. So they're kind of really building a community with it. But again, the reselling is definitely negative. It's what about you, Alex? Do you have any parts on it? Do you kind of? I mean, it basically sums up everything you guys said. It's... Yeah flooding the market like it's the prices are up the quality is not even good it's just it's ridiculous you know yeah but and like i said i collected uh started on nike sbs which as you guys know and the other day i don't know if you guys know lucky sevens the lucky seven yeah, dunks yeah, I had those. there's only 777 pairs of those and i picked up a dexter a dead stock pair for 200 dollars now, if that was a Jordan, if that was a LeBron, if that was a Yeezy, I guarantee you that would be, what, a couple thousand dollars because there's only 700 pairs. But since it's Nike SB, people are like, oh, no, no, it's not hype. It's like it, they don't really see the quality of a leather. They don't see the quality of a shoe. They see the name, the hype, and the money. Uh -huh. They're on that Supreme, on the SB. Yep, be Supreme. Supreme Louis Vuitton coming towards you. <laughs> crazy. Like I said, we're not doing a full interview. We're not going to bore you guys with all the questions, but final question is what, what's next for purple? Like what, after you get rid of all of these, what, what are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to buy a house? Are you going to reinvest it? Are you going to keep collecting shoes? Is this, is this just going to continue or what's, what's the game plan? Like I said, I am keeping these. Okay. So using, keeping the Yeezys and hype stuff, you know, the but Yeezys. he wears them, you know, like I said, he beats it. He's not, He's not the collector that's gonna keep it and just keep it in his Definitely room. Definitely you know, most, wears it. most comfortable shoe, yeah. sneaker. I don't know, what's next? Uh, I wanna get rid of all of them. I have some very, very, very cool Jordans as you guys have seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And will. Um, just wanna save money. Use that money and then just put it in the bank, you know? See what, I, see what I'll do with it in the future. I'm still young, so definitely wanna put that money to good use. Dope, dope, okay. Well, as you guys saw, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Both of their socials will be linked down below. Make sure you guys follow them on Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're not subscribed, we are so close to 5,000 subs. Like, come on, guys. We got this. Like, we've been killing it. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for SneakerCon Fort Lauderdale. That vlog is going to be super lit. I'm literally going to try to vlog everything. Like, literally everything. I'm not going to have a table this time. I'm just going to walk around, talk to the other YouTubers, and just social. So that should be a really nice vlog. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, and don't forget, guys, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Hey. Slippery, whoa, excuse me, please me, please. I'm up, oh, believe me, believe me, believe me. Get beat, because I'm flexing, bro.